Hey guys, this is Samal from Tech Leather Craft. In this video, I want to show you a smartphone holster case I just finished up. This one specifically is made for the iPhone 6S or 6S Plus, but I can of course make them for any size phone and case combination. So if you have OtterBox or any other specialized case, I can make them specifically for that case and phone combination. This one is hand tooled. Now I do offer customization, such as putting names and stuff on the front. Usually for a more customized design, there is a little bit of an extra charge. Now in this situation, the customer just told me they wanted one large cross, two small ones, and they left kind of the creative decision to me on how to implement that. So I actually did not charge him extra for this. It is also a simpler design, so it wasn't as difficult as some other ones. Now if you have a logo or something, I can of course stamp that. I would need to get a custom stamp made for you and I can always do that also. But I do hand tool, hand carve a lot of these designs depending on what it is. Just to review really quick, there's a card slot here for credit cards or business cards. And I do normally have a hidden pocket up here and a pocket in here. Because this is a larger phone and so the case is larger, there is room up here to uh, add cash if you wanted to, unfolded. However, with smaller phones, that might not be possible. You might just have to fold it in half and stick it in here because this case is longer, it's about seven inches in length, that was possible. One of the customizations the customer had me do was put this elastic here. Now, my cases normally don't come with this here and that is a little bit extra of a charge, but I can always do something custom like this. I actually used the same elastic and continued it onto the gusset. During the conversation I had with the customer, one of the things he had mentioned was he had wanted to put cards and stuff in here. So if you look at my other designs or if you look at my other videos, what you may notice is this case, specifically the gusset, it's a little bit larger than it normally is on my cases. And I can kind of adjust them to whatever they, you want. Because I knew he was going to be putting cards and other stuff in here, I did actually make the gusset a little bit larger. The other thing, of course, is these back pockets. Now I've talked about these in my other reviews, but you can put cards in here. Once again, with smaller cases, this is going to be a little bit uh, awkward because this flap will show more. In this case, it doesn't really really show a whole lot, but if you had a smaller case like an iPhone 5 or the SE case for example, then this would be this case would be a little bit smaller and so some of the features of course won't translate over like putting cash in and even these cards would show a little bit more. You can see for larger phones that that's not an issue. The cards are pretty well sunk in there. They may stick out just a little bit but overall it's pretty good. So this is my Note 4 with an OtterBox case on. It is a similar in size, not quite, but I thought it'd be a good demo for the moment. Now I do leave a little bit of play in there, so if you look down you'll see there's some side to side play and there's also up and down play. So when I snap this shut, what you'll see is you can see there's some clearance there. Now the reason for that of course is as you shove cards in here and let's say cash into this flap or other documents or whatever and even into this hidden pocket, you will this will of course adjust and what you want is the the flap to be able to mold like forward if it needs to. Hopefully that makes sense. And you know, even though this curve in here is set for the moment, it can be adjusted as you shove cards in there to allow this to expand. Now I'm not sure if the lighting is doing it justice. Hopefully it's not coming across too splotchy, but this has a really cool marble look to it. I really like it. It really wears well, it darkens up, and it, this will get shinier as time goes on. Once again, this is full grain leather, so you will see scars uh, every once in a while. I can't see any right now. But like, there's a scar right there, and there's a scar right there. So you will see some scars and marks because it is full grain, top grain leather. And so that is one of the characteristics of leather that actually makes it stronger. I've already talked about this on my, on my channel, so I won't go into it. But I prefer using full grain leather when I can, or top grain leather, uh, because it has the most strength when it comes to leather, and it wears really well. Stay tuned guys, I will be talking about my new color white leather cord holders I picked up. I had gotten a lot of requests from people who had like white cables, like iPhone cables, and even in fact Samsung charging cables are white. So this is my new white leather cord holders. I'm actually making them now. I'll be adding them to the website shortly. You can see I did a little color coordination. In fact, that's why people wanted them. You know, they'll fit your standard micro USB lightning cable, and they'll even fit over your uh, USB cables for the... Apple Watch, and of course your standard headphones, the Apple headphone for example. In fact what I'll do is I'll post a separate video on that showing these, but stay tuned for that. One other video I have coming up really quick is I actually got two new leathers. This is an SX10 leather and this is the new Burgundy Chrome XL leather I picked up. 
So I'll be talking about this leather and some of the changes coming to my website as far as the colors go. So that video will be coming up pretty soon. I'll be showing kind of an unboxing of these leathers and I'll also be talking about the difference between SX leather and Chrome XL leather in case anyone is wondering. Both are Horween of course. I will also be making a basic version of this case which is a little bit cheaper. It won't have all the pockets or all the functionality that you see here. It'll be kind of a just a single piece of leather with some lining in it with elastic of course but it won't have all these pockets and it won't have you know this or this lining pocket it will be lined but that will be coming to my website pretty soon in fact I'll probably make a video of it first if you are interested in staying updated with some of the new leather colors I have coming and just new announcements new sales be sure to go check out techleathercraft.com there is a newsletter sign up you can get 10% off and you'll get all the announcements for like all the new stuff that I have coming up so thanks for watching if you are interested in tech Leathercraft EDC multi-tool reviews, subscribe to my channel. I will have more stuff coming up soon. Thanks.